How's it going everybody driver 53 here and today we are going to be taking a look at which of the base game production facilities you can run multiple recipes at one time we've got all the uh, production facilities right here from base game that have the option to run multiple things so let me go ahead and show you here on the menu exactly what i'm talking about if we look at the grain mill here you can see that you can run a wheat flour a barley flour an oat flour and a sorghum flour and you can run all of those at the same time we did a previous video looking at it where we saw that you're going to get um, the full capacity of that recipe. It means it's going to run the, uh, the number of cycles that it says. So 1,200 on this one, 1,200 on that one, 600 on this one, and 3,600 on this one. All of those are going to run at full capacity every month as long as you have the amount of product in there that you need to be able to run at full capacity. But I've been getting some comments on some other videos where the oil mill, you're maybe not able to do that. So we're going to take a look at it here today and see exactly. And you may be wondering how I ran the test. Well, I loaded all the production facilities with these beautiful trucks right here. I put the needed product into them. Um, one of the facilities, I put everything in there that it needed. In the other one, I only put enough product in to run one recipe. Let's take the sugar mill, for example. What I did on this one is I've got all three ingredients or all three of the different recipes loaded in here. And on the other one, I only have sugar beets. I'm gonna run this test in increments of six hours, and then we're gonna stop and take a look and, and compare the sugar beet versus the sugar beet here. So if I am able to run all of these at the same time, then the sugar beet that's just running by itself and the sugar beet that's down here with the other ones should go down at the exact same rate. But if the facility is only running, in this case, a third, of the sugar beet by itself then i'm going to see a third of the loss that i'm going to see on this one up here so that's what we're going to be looking at um some of the other ones it's like grapes down here there's only one input but there's two recipes it can run so on this one if it's running the same then i'm going to see my grapes go down faster on one versus the other but if it's um, being split, I'm gonna see the same amount of grapes being consumed by both recipes as it is compared to just one recipe. So there's a couple different ways we're gonna look at this. We'll get into that once we start looking at um, the results. Like I said, we're gonna go six hours at a time. We'll come back, look at another six hours because some of these don't use very much. So with the amount that we have in there, it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on if it looks like it's a third or a half. So. I'm gonna go ahead now, it's uh, almost 12 o'clock in the day. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these on. So now I get to speed up time for six hours. I'll come back and show you guys the results. All right, it is now six o'clock in the evening. You can see up at the clock, it says 1800. And this facility right here, you can see that we only have three pallets sitting outside. But over here at the other grain mill, I've got six. So let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the data here really quick, just to confirm what we had from our first video that we ran. Here we have our wheat, and as you can see, we still have 245,479 liters. This is the one that the recipe was only running by itself solo. So based on our previous video, we should be able to see in the top that it's gonna be exactly the same, 245,472. I mean, you are within five liters of each other. So that, that's as close as you're gonna get because we started at just a few seconds uh, different from each other. So this one right here, yes, you are able to run multiple recipes. Let's go down here to the oil mill now. And if I look here at this one, we can see that we are at sunflowers, 143,195. And I come down to this one and it's only 141,586. So that's interesting, it's used more but it's it's still kind of close, right? We're within a couple couple thousand liters. I mean, you can kind of see on the bar there how this one here has used quite a bit more than this one. So I do believe that here on the oil mill that it um, is going to split it into thirds or however many you have. It's going to separate it out and throttle back those recipes. So very interesting there on the oil mill. Now, if we take a look here at the sugar mill, you can see that for sugar beets, we have 243,961, and I come down here, 243,946. So you're you're really close. I mean, you're within 20 liters there. So I feel like this one, the sugar mill, you are able to run multiple recipes at once. So next, let's go to the bakery. And here we can see that we're at 6,903 liters on all of the other uh, products that you need for your cake. And if we come down to the other one, it's the exact same. 
So what that means is because on this top one, we had bread running also, this one is going to output bread and cakes at the same rate, at full capacity, as compared to just running cakes by itself. Next, we have the spinnery here. You can see that on the wool, we have 44,637. And if I come down to the other one, it's 44,274. Now, this is one that I'm going to run a little bit longer because we have a 200 liter difference, roughly 150. Um, I want to run this one for at least another six hours. So we're going to come back and take a look at this one. But then down here on the dairy, um, we wanted to take a look at our chocolate. So the sugar, we have 35,798. And on this one here, we have 35,395. So it is it is a little bit of a difference. I, I definitely can see that. Um, we're going to probably run this one for another uh, six hours also. And then down here on the carpentry, our planks, 17,697 versus 17,848. So it's pretty close, but I, I definitely want to run another uh, six hours on this one. And then raisins, you can see that we're at 88,368 and 88,367. So the great processing unit, it looks like you're going to be able to run both recipes. Um, well, it's actually going to throttle back. So that's what that means. On this one here, because it's using the same amount with two recipes versus one recipe, it is going to reduce that one down also. So let's run these for another six hours, and um, we'll be back and take a look at those ones that were really close on time. All right, it is just now a little bit after midnight, so another six hours have passed. You can see here at our raisin or the grape processing unit, you can see that we now have four pallets, but three of them are the grape juice. And then we come over here to the other side. You can see that we have three pallets here. So if these were running at the same, then I would think that you would have um, at least one more um, of the raisin pallets over on the other side. But let's jump into the menu here and take a look and be for sure. Once again, we're down here, 86,745, and yeah, this is 86,742. So this one right here is splitting it in half whenever you run two different ones. So it does throttle it back. You are not gonna be able to run multiple um, at the same capacity. On our furniture here, you can see on the planks, we are setting at 17,698, and on this one up here, 17,396. So it's not, I mean, you can see the different values there that the bar has moved. Um, it's quite a bit. So this one also, the carpentry, you are not able to run them at max capacity if you have more than one turned on. On our dairy right here, you can see the sugar is at 34,794 and up here, 35,597. So the same thing is happening at the dairy. It is splitting it up between them. Really interesting here on these. With the spinnery here, you can see that we are at 43,551, and up here we are at 44,275. So once again, you can see that it's basically half um, the amount that has been used um, whenever you're running multiple recipes versus just a single recipe. For the bakery here, you can see that we are at 6806 for all the other items, and this one here, 6806, the exact same. So yeah, once again, confirmed this one here, the bakery, you are able to run both recipes at the same time at max production. Here at the sugar mill, you can see that our sugar beets are 237,908 and up here 237,907. So yes, the sugar mill, you are also able to run multiple recipes at full production. Here on the sunflower oil, you can see that our sunflowers are 139,162. And then up here, it's at 142,387. So if I toggle back and forth, you can see that it's a third of what it should be. So the oil mill, it will not give you max production on all three. When you're running all three, it will cut it down to however many you're running. It will reduce it by that amount. And then once again, just to finish up here on the grain mill, you can see 240 and 927. And up here, you can see that we're at 240, 931. So we are like right at that edge because it says that our... Um, Storing capacity is pretty much full here. So we were only able to run 12 hours on this and we're almost out of room. I wanted to go ahead and finish up by showing you guys this chart right here. The first column is the facility. That's got your grain mill, your oil mill, your sugar mill, bakery, spinnery, dairy, carpentry, and the great processing unit. The second column is your production capability. So for the grain mill, you can see that you're able to run max production when you're running all the recipes. For the oil mill though, production is split when you're running all of them. Sugar mill, max production, bakery, max production, 
and then the spinnery production is split and the same with the dairy carpentry and gray processing unit well everybody i hope that clears it up for you on which ones of the base game production facilities you are going to be able to run at a max capability and which ones you're going to get throttled back on if you're running all the recipes at once and that's going to be it for today everybody if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would if you want to stay up to date on any other testing or how-to videos that we do here on the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell too and while you're waiting for those next videos go ahead and check out one of these other ones right here have a great day night evening everybody until next time this is driver 53 planning off